Alright, I'm back at my computer with a bunch more updates. Up there is my Biostar G31M7TE motherboard. So that means I inserted a new motherboard into this thing. So let me open up my computer case and I'll show you the rest. Alright, so here I am inside my computer case. Fans are the same, power supply is the same, optical drive and fan controller. But the motherboard... Yes, the motherboard. It is brand new. I got this last week. Um, I just thought to myself that I would probably get it for an upgrade for my computer. Um, the 500, this is the 500 gigabyte hard drive, which is the same. But up here, we have a SanDisk 64 gigabyte solid state drive. It, it's a SATA 3D 6 gigabits per second. And the 500 gigabyte is a regular hard drive. But let's move on to the motherboard. The motherboard is an Asus P8Z77-VLX. That is the motherboard itself. As you can tell by the processor or um, heat sink, I think it's only for this, um, it's an 1155 socket. The memory I have is DDR3, um, it's Patriot, and they are both 4 gigs each, so I have 8 gigs right now, and then maybe later on I could probably upgrade to 8 more gigs, and then, or I'm sorry, 4 more gigs. No, I mean 8 more gigs, and then I can have a total of 16, but 32 um, would be a little too much. 16 is probably at the best. Down here, I got my wireless card and Radeon 5450 graphics card, as usual. I'll probably upgrade the graphics card. And, um, I got a red, red light right here, the GPU boost. And uh, down here, another green light, which is right there. I don't know what that means. Um, the, um, the power supply has only four pins, but I got a four to eight pin connector so I can fit into the motherboard. So let me just close this thing up and fire up and see what it looks like. Oh, I forgot. I was able to run some cables behind this part. It was just a little hard with the Cooler Master Elite 430. Alright, so let's get this fired up. Same boot from the other one. Listen for the post beep. There it goes. There's the Asus splash screen. And this is Windows 7 64-bit edition. And I do have this installed on the solid state drive. Sure does load pretty fast. And here are my gadgets. My processor is an is an Intel Celeron 2.4 gigahertz dual core. It's not perfect for a gaming computer, but that's what was in my budget. Up here are the two drives. This is my SSD and my 500 gig hard drive. And um, by the way, the PS2 emulator, also known as PCSX2 1.0.0 runs a lot better on a dual core because I previously ran this on my Biostar motherboard which had a single core and that didn't do me any good. So later on I'll probably upgrade to an Intel i7 2600K processor and then get some real cooling from there. So that's about it. That's my brand new update of my new computer. 
and that's about it.